if you're trying to move or simply copy some files from your PC over to your Android device, then I almost always recommend using a USB cable. But the process is surprisingly not as straightforward as you would expect. So in this edition of Android 101, I'll show you every step along the way. Let's dive in. Many people are going to take a USB cable, plug it into their PC, and then plug the other side into their Android smartphone or tablet. But even though I have that USB cable plugged in and you saw me plug that USB cable in, I'm not able to access the phone through the this PC or the my computer section of your PC. And that's actually because of a security layer that Android has in place. And it's actually this security layer that protects your data from a PC that has malicious software on it. At least that's how Android is set up by default. Since most people will just want to charge up their phone when they plug in a USB cable like this. That means we can unlock file transfer access by finding the USB charging notification that appears when we connect our phone to the PC like this. So plug in your phone, look for that charging notification, tap it, and then you'll see it expand, tap it again, and you'll be brought to this page. By default, it's set to no data transfer. But after tapping on that notification, we can switch this over to file transfer slash Android auto. And this will actually be named differently depending on which OEM makes your device. You'll notice on this phone from Red Magic that USB notification charge only at first but then we need to change this to media device or MTP and that will actually give us access to transfer some files over. But that's not where the guide ends. So let's talk about actually transferring these files to our phone or tablet. Again, here is that install folder that I told you about. And we can take these files, highlight them, right click, and then click on copy. Then we're going to pull up this PC on your Windows device. This is likely an icon on your desktop, but you may find it in the start menu or in your Windows Explorer. After you have changed the USB mode on your phone from charge only to the transfer or MTP mode, then you'll start to see your phone appear in the This PC page on your Windows device. It's not until you switch from charge only mode that you'll see your phone actually appear on your computer. So then we can actually click into that we click into the internal storage and we're going to get some folders here. The number of folders that you have will vary depending on what you have in your internal storage as well as who makes your device. But most people are going to want to put stuff in the downloads folder since that is usually the default one. So from here, we are now in the downloads folder. We can right click. And we can actually keep this organized by making a new folder and then pasting those files into this folder. So now we have a folder within the downloads folder and we are copying or moving or transferring all of those game files to our device.
while those files are being copied to your device, it's almost always a good idea to place the phone or tablet on a flat surface and to not touch it or the USB cable. Because if the USB cable or your USB port is not in the best condition, then that could introduce connection issues that will cause the transfer to be incomplete. And since file transfers via USB are not able to be resumed, you'll have to start that all over again. Here we have a file explorer where we can go into the download folder of our device. You'll see we have a folder labeled new folder that we just created. And in that, we have the game files for this specific game. Now, I do hope this video was able to help anyone who has been having difficulty getting bigger files moved over to their phone, especially those who are new to Android and aren't familiar with why such a security layer has been put into place for a basic task like this. I would like to start a new community questions video here on the channel. So, if you're having trouble with your Android smartphone or tablet, or maybe you just have a question about Android in general, then send in an email to questions at explainingandroid.com. And I'll have that email in the video description as well as the pinned comment so that it's easy for everyone to find. I think doing a weekly or maybe a monthly video that gathers up all of the questions that have been sent in could be a good thing for the channel. Not only will it help me to understand the issues that you're all having with your mobile device, but it can be a great way of getting help about something that's been bothering you for weeks or maybe months on end. Just please remember to give this video a like, click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately, and subscribe to the channel too for more Android tips like this.